So earlier this week, I put out a video that I wanted to do a video about all the things I dislike about foster care. And I got to thinking about it. Um, I wanna make that video, but I also, because it's Foster Care Awareness Week, I want to be a little more intentional and highlight some of the positive things about foster care because there are a lot of positive things. So I think what I'm gonna do is for the next, what, two weeks now, maybe three, is talk about some of those things. Oh my God, it's so good. Like legit real minty, mint leaf. Guys, I don't, it's legitimately true that, like, you drink more from your Stanley Cup. I'm drinking water all day long. And I have, so we have this Starbucks branded Stanley. Oh my God, and they're the same color almost in Starbucks mug here. So, I literally cannot talk about foster care and the joys that it's brought me without talking about two two things or two people the first is obviously joshua but i want to like kind of save that part of things for probably the last video of this month but the main thing i need to speak about when it comes to the joys is the first baby that ever came into my life, and that's Baby S. If you haven't seen those videos of Baby S, I'll put some cards up here, and you can maybe go back and even just skim through, but specifically go look at this one that is the first video of a baby that I had. I still remember, it has been three years, three and a half years, and I still remember what it was like when he came into my house and just the joy and excitement that I felt. I remember the social worker dropping him off and me like showing the social worker all the things I had prepared and he literally was like, is this your first time? <laughs> he just did not care. <laughs> I sat baby ass down in his car seat on my sofa and I literally look at this baby and I say, well, dude, I guess it's you and me now. And it just felt pretty natural, but also weird, but like in the best way weird. It just made me feel like I can do this um, and I was I was nervous about doing this but I was more nervous about am I doing it right and keep in mind I'm someone who's like I was babysitting at 14 I was I was always I've always been around children and YMCA and things like that um, and as life with him progressed over those just those two months he was only with me for I think two and a half months maybe three months as that time went by and just like watching him grow this was like in the middle of COVID so this was early 2021 and so where I was living at the time it was just so no one was on the streets and we had this daily routine where we'd go walk around the neighborhood you know, me pushing him in the stroller. We'd do that like two, three times a day sometimes. And then obviously we'd walk down the street to Starbucks and it was so lovely 
it was this turning point in my life that I, I didn't feel alone anymore. I felt like I had a purpose. And there were some times, obviously, that were stressful then. But just, he was... He's, he will always and forever hold a place in my heart. And I think I've shared this before. You know, y'all know I have a bunch of photo, photos and pictures of Joshua and I in the house. But... Baby S is the only other baby that I have a photo of in my house. And there have been times where I've wanted to take it down because maybe it was difficult for me to look at or, you know, but I can't take it down. And I don't, I, now I don't want to because I always want to honor him in that way. And I do, do wonder how he's doing. So he's a little over three now. I recently reached out to the woman who I believe now adopted him and she just she's never stayed in communication like literally from the they took him and she said oh I'll stay in communication she never ever ever has it took me like three years to send a text message that said like hi how are you doing how's baby s um, I called and left a voicemail and I haven't heard anything back and, you know, that just goes to show people's true colors, obviously. But, you know, if I never speak to him again, it's okay. Um, because he was the first, he started this journey for me. And we think we know where things in life are gonna go, but we don't. And I'm so grateful because of all the babies I've had and wanted to keep. I'm so happy that the one that's sleeping in the house right now, that I got him. And if I ever kept the other ones, or you know, not kept, but you know what I mean, like adopted the others, I don't think I would have had him because I would have stopped. I can remember, so during that time, we had church online because we obviously weren't meeting in the height of COVID. And so, I used to lead worship at my church. One day I was leading that that uh, that day's worship. And when they aired it that Sunday, you know, I was on the screen singing and I had baby S and he was just so intently looking at it and listening to me. And I was like, that's, it's just so beautiful. And one time my friend, she was um, babysitting him and he was crying and she put on my YouTube channel and she said immediately he stopped and he just stared and watched it um, and it's just like things like that that just brought me so much joy and obviously still do bring me a lot of joy um, and I'm reminded of of when this I, this had to be like three four days in this kid because he was two months old when I got him. And the waking up in the middle of the night, I was so unbelievably tired. And I remember picking him up, I think it was like three in the morning. And I was holding him on the sofa and I look at this boy crying. And I said to myself, Kevin, he can literally not survive without you. And I felt like a zombie. You don't have an option here. Snap out of it. And from that moment on, I went into this like zone. This zone of like, I have to do this. There's no options here. And it, it was great. It worked for me, you know? So, you know, I just wanted to share that and let it be known that while there is a lot of frustration with the Department of and Children's Services. We all know that. We all know that there's a lot of things that need fixing and stuff. There are so many good things. There are there are cases where children go back to their biological family and they thrive.
drive and it's a great situation. I had a baby, baby L. That boy went back to his mother and still to this day she still reaches out. And she follows me on social media and she's so nice and so sweet and so kind. And I I'm so happy when I see photos of him and how big he is and how he's thriving. And I know her gratitude that she has for me. And like that feels enough. That is enough. And and the other beautiful part is there's a lot of families who end up adopting children. And families like me who would never have gotten to do to, to have a baby of my own merely because I'm gay and merely because I don't have the finances to do surrogacy and or private adoption and this was the best route for me only because it took because it's what I needed it's the route I was supposed to go and another beautiful thing about it is like the I never knew I was going to get to educate so many people about this like people come to me about foster care all the time y'all I never knew it I always thought I literally posted videos at first because they were because I just couldn't find anyone else doing this like I was I couldn't find single men that were fostering um, and I said, Listen, look, if someone else, will, if I'm looking for it, then someone else is looking for it. And there was never this intention of becoming a YouTube partner. There was never this intention of doing it to the level that I'm doing it and making it all fancy. But, you know, I'm a creative dude and I, I truly enjoy entertaining people. And now this has become something where I have a lot of fun and I share with you guys how much y'all need to me and have kept me going. That's, a, oh, that's another thing. to stop this you guys like wouldn't let me <laughs> and I needed that I really really needed that because I was all in my head for so many years anyway I think that's it happy not happy it still is weird to say happy foster care awareness month but it's foster care awareness month if you're interested in becoming a foster parent I'm always available just comment below and i'll reach out to you let me know and then we'll, we'll work out details on how we can talk um also i'm a big advocate if you're here in los angeles aviva family and children <laughs> services i'll put a link to them in the, in the description below um but check them out tell them i sent you they'll know um they're they're, they're phenomenal phenomenal um but if you if you think you're interested in this, I would say check it out. And if if you're not sure you're interested in this, check it out anyway and find out. All right, y'all. Peace out. Bye.